At the Center for Global Food and Resources, the definition we use for the food system is all of the activities, people, infrastructure, and the environments involved in the production, harvesting, processing, packaging, transportation, marketing, consumption, and disposal of food. Food systems include the private sector, meaning agribusinesses, and the public sector, particularly governments, who set policy and regulations. Both the private and public sectors may also be involved in research, development, and what is called extension, which is the hands-on support of farmers. There may also be involvement by the not-for-profit sector, which includes universities like ours. While the term environments is in our definition of food systems, we won't spend significant time discussing environments in this course. We will, however, introduce the concepts and help you gain a clear understanding of their role in food systems. Food systems are made up of the natural environment, the socioeconomic environment, and the political environment. First, and perhaps the most obvious, is the natural environment. It includes the land, water, and complex ecosystems, including wildlife, worms, and bees, as well as many other natural organisms. People are becoming increasingly concerned about the impact of food production and processing, and the impact our food choices are having on the natural environment. However, there are also other environments that need to be considered with regard to the food system, specifically the socioeconomic and political environments. When it comes to the socioeconomic environment, this refers to the people involved directly in the food system, the roles they play, and their general well-being. These people generally fall into three groups. First, primary producers, such as farmers, who are the people directly involved in producing unprocessed food products. Secondly, the people involved after a product has left the farm, such as storing, processing, and marketing of food. This is also referred to as post-farm gate. And finally, consumers, which includes all of us, as we all consume or eat food. All three groups play roles in the socioeconomic environment that influences the food system. Later in this course, you'll discover more about how the socioeconomic environment is changing over time and what it means for the food system. Finally, there is the political environment. This relates to the policy, regulations, and government influences on the food system. This could include regulations around food production in a particular country, as well as barriers or restrictions for importation of food products from another country. Changes in all the environments, the natural, socioeconomic, and political, all affect the food system and everyone involved in it.